TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 86. You get the NASDAQ up 28. S&Ps are up 7.5. Gold contracts trading up uh, $3.60 at 1,273 an ounce. You have silver up eight cents at seventeen dollars and eighty-five cents an ounce. Platinum's down six bucks at nine seventy-nine an ounce. We have the uh, copper market flat at two sixteen a pound. Light sweet crude. Okay, so crude's up eighty-six cents. We're at forty-nine fifty-five. We get the crude numbers coming out at ten thirty. That fifty-dollar swing point, folks, wants to get hit, and I suspect when that uh, crude numbers come out, more than likely we're going to see a crude go up, and in fact. Uh, uh, the oil and gas equities put a little more juice into this S&P. 10-year um, note, down 7 ticks, 130.08. You have the 30-year bond off 18 ticks, 165.27. They both went downtown yesterday, had volume on the move. That's saying that they want to go test their lower swing points, which is only about a half a point away from where they are right now. The volume is contracting as these are moving downtown right now. King dollar. King dollar is up 115 ticks, 96.24. King dollar had wide price spread yesterday, accelerated volume, all of the above. Bottom line, King dollar wants to make its way up to the highs of July. Euro, Euro is trading at $1.11, and the yen is trading at 103.46. If we go over and we take a look at the S&P, this is what you have uh, with the SPY. The SPY cannot handle the downdraft from September 9th. That number we're talking about, and it's quite a way away from that number right now, is $217.03. Bottom line, it's got up there three times, can't handle it. You came down yesterday with volume. I expect you're going to be higher today with lighter volume. That is building cause for lower price. Dow Industrials, exact same type of setup. Dow Industrials are up 85 bucks right now, way away from the benchmark, which is 18,404. Right now, we're trading at 18,253. What the... Um, Dow Industrials also did, they went south, and they also went south with volume yesterday. I expect you're going to get a small bounce out here today with light volume. That sets up lower prices next week. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? The gold contract broke lower, wide price spread, accelerated volume, all of the above. Uh, this gold is going to continue to basically um, have big pressure on it. Why? Because of the good old U.S. dollar. Uh, gold right now is flat out here. I do expect... Uh, gold to have some kind of a small bounce. Uh, bottom line is that when you come down as fast and furious as the gold market did, as the silver market did, you'll test it a few times. The bottom line, you're going to get a bounce going out here. Notes. The 10-year note, this is what you have with the notes out here. 10-year note, we're down eight ticks right now. You're trading at 130.07, and the swing point that we're dealing with in this 10-year uh, right now is at 129.26, and I expect we're going to see that thing get hit. What is happening is that uh, you're coming down today with lighter volume. We'll see if that stays that way. If we do test that with lighter volume, you get a rejection of price. That is saying bonds are going to go topside once again. And if we go over to good old King Dollar, King Dollar is what's moving the markets out here. King Dollar out here, um, you're trading up 90 ticks right now. We're having a low out here today of 95.94. Uh, uh, I expect that King Dollar, because of the move that it also made, uh, King Dollar is going to have to build some more cars before you go topside uh, once again. But King Dollar is going after a swing point. That was established uh, last July. So what do we have out here? I expect you're going to see higher markets. You're going to see lower price. That is building cars for lower markets. Uh, we went down with conviction yesterday, and I expect a couple days maybe up with uh, light volume, and then see you later. See you. Don't want to be you. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you each and every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, you can give them a call at 855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com forward slash T-F-N-N. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Look forward to speaking right back here tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock.
If you're looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new Market Safe Focus Commodity CD from EverBank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to six equally weighted commodities, including gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With annual pricing caps of 50% per component, you could earn up to a 50% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The October 13th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC.